So once a month, we do a segment that we simply call This Time Tomorrow. And so we have someone from our congregation talk, uh, come and talk about what they do from Monday to Friday and how that job helps to enhance the kingdom of God. And so we're thrilled to have Kelly Bernardoni. Did I say that correctly? Kind of. So, so how would you say it? Kelly? Bernardoni. Bernardoni. All right, just put the accent on the wrong spot. Kelly Bernardoni here with us today. So, uh, Kelly, tell everybody where you work, first of all, what you do, and what will you be doing at 10, 15, 10, 20 tomorrow morning? So, I work at ABB, and uh, we manufacture and service turbochargers for very large engines. So, if you go on a cruise ship, a train, um, see a mining truck or a power plant, chances are it has our turbochargers in those engines. So my job, we have seven locations here in the U.S., and my job is to make sure that all of our uh, people here are following the same procedures so that they can work effectively and efficiently to help our customers. And so this time tomorrow, what will you be doing? Problem solving. Problem solving. All right, how many of you have problems you'd like for Kelly to solve? All right, that's her job. She's a problem solver. All right, she'll be problem solving. So, so Kelly, every day as you go into work, and I know it's probably a little bit tough because they recently had a, a baby as well, little Anna, who's a, a beauty. So how do you remind yourself every day that you work for the Lord and not necessarily for the company for which you work? Um, so every day, and actually many times a day, I try to remind myself I could be God to the people that I interact with since I interact with everyone all over the country and even um, over in other countries. Um, so before I answer an email, before I go over to talk to somebody, I try to hold back any frustrations I may feel or, um, you know, just utter, like, what are they thinking thoughts and that I don't want to come across to them. So I tell myself, okay, I could be God to them, and I try to remind myself in my approach to them, this is how I can be God to them. Cool. cool. So how does your job, so you guys make engines for ships and, and different things, so how would you say that your job enhances and brings value to God's creation? So turbochargers, the function in an engine is to make the engines run cleaner and more efficiently. So if people are using our turbochargers, which are superior to many others, um, I would say... So if you're <laughs> looking for a turbocharger, <laughs> speak to her at the conclusion of the service. Um, then our turbos help those engines run more environmentally friendly, and um, they help um, just by that way making the engines run cleaner. Excellent, excellent. So... Um, obviously, as you're there making engines that are efficient and, and helping to make life easy for us, you're enhancing God's creation. So uh, what opportunities has your job or your responsibilities given you to be able to be Jesus or share the gospel with others? Um, I don't know if it's just ABB because I really haven't worked at a lot of other companies, but um, at least at two locations, my coworkers love to talk about religion and God and the afterlife and all that stuff. So I actually have had a lot of opportunities to share my beliefs with my coworkers, um, and they ask me questions, and yeah, so cool. I get to do it on a pretty regular basis. That's excellent. That's excellent. So today we want to pray for everybody who uh, works in the same field that Kelly works, and so we kind of want to commission you as representatives of the kingdom as you're out there Monday to Friday. And remember, we do this because not only does what you do on Sunday matter, but what you do from Monday to Friday matters for the kingdom of God. And God can use you to enhance his kingdom right where you are. So remind me, today we're going to recognize everybody who works in manufacturing. Service. Service. And engineering. And engineering. So if you work in manufacturing, service, or engineering, would you do me the honor of standing today? Anybody who works in manufacturing, service, or engineering, would you stand? All right, so we want to have a word of prayer for you today. Remain standing as we pray for you. Father, thank you so much, not only for Kelly and, Lord, just the wonderful position that you have given her and, Lord, the sphere of influence that you've given her. And, and Father, thank you for the way that you are using her and her company, Lord, to enhance your creation, Lord, to, uh, Lord, to make it efficient, to, uh, to preserve this beautiful creation that you have given to us, and so we thank you for her, and Lord, we thank you for these other representatives throughout our congregation that work in these three spheres, and Father, you know what they do, and so God, I pray that even this time tomorrow, 
Father, remind them that as Paul says in Colossians chapter 3, they work for the Lord and not for man. And God, use them, Lord, to make the world in which we live a better place. Thank you for them. And then, Lord, help them also to be living representatives of Jesus Christ in the place where you have placed them. So we ask your blessings upon them. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So let's give a warm welcome to Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly, for being here and being with us today.